What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video and today we are at my buddy Reptile Klung's house. Uh, he does have a YouTube channel that he is just kind of getting started. I'm going to throw the link to his channel in the description. Please go check him out, show him some love, tell him that Andy sent you. Yes, my hair is in a ponytail. Yes, I have painted nails. Uh, we're living in weird times. But he's got this big garage um, right outside his house. His house is right here that he keeps all of his reptiles in. Uh, he's kind of remodeling everything right now so ignore the clutter but he's got all kinds of cool stuff he's got berms retics caimans snapping turtles alligator snapping turtles tegus turtles and uh, i think that's it so we're just going to go through i want to show you guys all of his cool animals because i'm here and had to drop some stuff off to him figured might as well make a video showing off some cool stuff starting off with the first snake he wanted to clean a cage so he just kind of put it on me this is a hypo 100 percent het labyrinth burmese python probably six feet, five feet maybe. Um, super pretty. One cool thing about pretty much all of Nick's snakes, uh, aside from one which we will get to in a little bit, is they are all friendly. Um, this one being one of the friendliest ones that I've dealt with so far. Uh, he's got some cool retics. Once he's done cleaning that cage, I'll throw Sage back in her cage and uh, we will continue on. But let's uh, look at an alligator snapping turtle real quick first. The alligator snapping turtle is in a cage with four other snapping turtles and he doesn't have a step stool and I'm not just gonna stick my hand in there. But I will show you guys the bigger common snapping turtle that he has in a little pond. Um, hopefully all these stay attached. So this is a common snapping turtle. Its name is Maverick. Uh, unlike the alligator snapping turtles, you can't really hold these guys the same way because they have much longer heads so they can kind of turn their neck around and grab you. That's why I'm kind of holding him a little bit weird. But this guy's still pretty small, uh, weighs I don't know, maybe 5, 10 pounds. Uh, but eventually it's going to get substantially bigger than this. And then the alligator snapping turtles get even way bigger than these guys. Uh, but they have really cool like ridges down their back. That's how they get the name alligator snapping turtle because it kind of looks like the ridges that an alligator has on his back. But definitely love these guys and I think Nick eventually wants to get some bigger ones and build them kind of a crazy pond. Next up, my favorite cage that he has is his cage for his two caimans. Uh, they're both dwarf caimans. One is a smooth front, smooth front and a cubiers. Cubiers. Cube, yeah. Eric Chambers has uh, one of these. He has the smooth front, right? Yeah. That's big and crazy and mean. This is the setup that he has for the caimans. Uh, he needs to get a new piece of glass for this. The glass broke, but there's a little pond in here. There's one right there, but uh, we'll go ahead and get them out and I'll get you guys a better view of them. Because they are uh, pretty gnarly looking animals. I'll have Nick film me trying to get them out. Uh, I'm gonna wear gloves because their bites are not fun even though they're small. All right, so there's one right here and one right there. I'm gonna try to get the, this first one right here who just went under the water and back under there. Sick. So the glove that he gave me is like a little cloth glove that's gonna do probably nothing if I get Military grade acrylic knuckles. Oh. Ow! Yeah, that still hurt. The glove does nothing. His tooth went right through the glove right there. Doesn't help that I have this heat light like right on my head too. <laughs> it's like 8,000 degrees. I got him. Just got one. All right. Took me 10 minutes. I don't have the best grip on him. This is the baby Cubiers came in, right? Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, unlike alligators, their teeth are like little tiny razor blades instead of like bigger teeth uh, that the alligators have. And these guys are just so much faster than alligators. They can turn around and grab like right behind their heads. And uh, when they freak out, you know, it gets kind of scary because again, one glove on and he did bite through my glove and he made me bleed. Um, but yeah, all of that work just to show you guys. The little Cayman who is definitely a grouchy guy, but still super pretty. I'm gonna leave the other one alone. I feel like I've stressed them out enough, but uh, definitely super awesome little Caymans. Nick is cleaning all of those cages right over there. That's where these berms live. Nick, say hi. Very, very vocal. He's a very, very vocal man. Uh, but this is a normal Burmese python that's triple head for albino green and granite. Uh, so eventually he's gonna be producing a bunch of Burmese pythons and he's just starting to get into ball pythons just like every other reptile YouTuber on the planet. Um, I feel like it's almost like a rite of passage that you need ball pythons. Granted, I've never had them, but 
I don't know, they're just not really my thing. But super pretty snake. Uh, the normal coloration of berms, even for retics, the normal coloration is one of my favorites. I just think that it's very pretty and it doesn't really need much, but I mean, when you add in the labyrinths and the granites, it makes them look crazy, but I'm always a fan of the, uh, the normals. Uh, this one definitely likes to run around a lot more than the Burmese pythons, but that's one of the big difference between berms and retics, you know, similar size, but Burmese pythons are a lot slower and more gentle, and Jesus Christ, there's a giant bee right there. <laughs> He is gone, um, and you guys just saw me flailing around with this girl. She is like wild. I don't know what she's doing it's like handling a colubrid, like a big colubrid. But still, really pretty snake. Now we're gonna move on to some other stuff that is not in the rack that he was cleaning because it is all clean. Say goodbye. Nick has to clean another cage. I kind of, I'm just acting as like the snake holder while he's cleaning the cages. So this is Cooper, it's a big albino Burmese python, but as you guys can kind of see down on the bottom, he decided to shed. So Nick's gonna pull him out and then I will uh, show you guys this big berm. This is Cooper, the big albino Burmese python male. Pearl. Eh, pearl, sorry, pearl Burmese python. Um, definitely a big snake. I'd say this is just about the size of the one that I made the going to Hollywood video where I brought the big Burmese python to Hollywood Boulevard just to get people to kind of hold it and show them. Uh, if you want to watch that video, I'll throw a card for it right there. But, uh, or maybe that side. I don't remember what side the cards go on. But yeah. Oops, sorry, Scarlett is also with me. She is not very happy. Also, I'm trying to get Kelsey to hold one of the big snakes. So, babe, you want to do it? No! <laughs> just one. No. Just this one. It's so friendly. I'll kiss it on the face. She's not gonna do it. But yeah, Cooper, the big albino berm. Uh, next up, we'll show you guys his red rescue tegu that actually lives in his house uh, because he's trying to nurse it back to health, the people that had it before him. They kind of let its health slip. Oh my God, it's choking me. Scarlet is also getting her first hands-on with reptiles today. Scarlet, what do you think? No cameras, please, she says, no cameras. And here is Nick, AKA Reptile Clung. Again, he has a YouTube channel. Please go subscribe, check him out with his giant dinosaur. This is a red tegu who was, again, not taken care of very well, so it had some health issues, but it's slowly getting back to its, you know, awesome self. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous. It looks great now. It, uh, it was a little bit worse for wear when you got it, right? Yeah, he didn't move, he didn't eat. And now? Kind of force. You had to force feed him, right? Yeah, yeah that special. cat food stuff. Yeah. But now you can see he's just sitting out here, enjoying the sunlight. Super awesome animals. These big tegus are definitely on my list at some point. We're gonna let the dinosaur take its bath and go back into the reptile room, show you guys a few more animals. But unfortunately, I had to borrow my friend's truck, so I do need to get his truck back to him. I can only stay for like another 10, 15 minutes, but I'll go record a few more things to show you guys, and then uh, we have to head back home. Uh, so as I said in the beginning of the video, Nick, just like every other reptile YouTuber, is getting into uh, breeding ball pythons. So he's just purchased a decent little group, and I think you have how many in so far? Eight? All right, so eight ball pythons. I'll run you through what he's got. All right, Nick, so what is that snake? This is a spinner head puzzle. Spinner head puzzle. So the puzzle stuff, I think it's still like relatively new in the ball python world, but one of his cooler snakes, and again, not quite up to breeding size yet, but pretty soon it'll definitely be there. All right, what's next? And this is just a regular clown ball python. You can see he's got that classic little clown head. Um, but when you pair this to a bunch of other stuff, you can make some really killer combos. It's just a matter of getting all the right heads and everything. Again, definitely not quite breeding size, but they are all getting there. And he's gonna produce some crazy stuff in the future with these guys. And uh, maybe one day I'll even get a ball python and maybe I'll try my hand at the typical YouTube reptiler typical reptile YouTuber and uh, try to breed some ball pythons. This pretty snake right here is a GHI Mojave. They also call them poor man's pides. Oh, it also has really pretty blue eyes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Its eyes are like neon blue. Anyways, they call them poor man's pides because as you can see, it has the little pied markings, but that's just something you get with the GHI and Mojave when they mix, they make those cool little pied marks. And this right here is a pastel ball python. So again, breeder size, he's about five years old. And then Nick has more uh, ball pythons coming as well. <laughs> well, I was about to turn to him and have him tell me what he has coming, but he doesn't really remember. Uh, he's got like six different snakes coming, all different genetics. There's some stuff with clown, right? Yeah, clown, uh, red exanthic, um, 
banana. Oops. Didn't you get a banana black pastel? Wasn't that one no, of them? I got a like banana, champagne banana or something like champagne that. Champagne banana? I got some jeans with champagne, banana, uh, red exanthic, and uh, I'd be lying if I said anymore. Yeah, so. I'm not an expert yet. No, yeah, I mean, everyone starts somewhere, and luckily for him, he's just able to purchase some of the cooler ball pythons, and not just, you know, your pastels, yellow bellies, things like that. Uh, so when he does produce, he'll be producing some pretty killer combos. All right, y'all, that is gonna wrap it up for me here at Reptile Clung's little, um, I don't know, Reptile Garage. Reptile Garage, you should paint that on the wall somewhere or come up with a name for it. Uh, but again, you know, I'll be doing a lot more videos here as he's kind of progressing. And I think when he starts to do, like if he does a big cage video, I might even come and film with him and help him do all that. But again, please like this video, comment down below, let me know what you thought, what was your favorite animal. Go subscribe to Nick, it'll be the first link in the description, probably the only link in the description. And uh, subscribe if you are new here, I will see you guys in the next video, peace.